In the last activity, I showed you how to import a Google slide deck into Nearpod. For this activity, we're going to use the same slide deck that we just imported, but this time we're going to add some, some interactive slides to it. So I'm going to go to my library here, and in my library, you will see types of energy. And I'm going to go to edit this particular presentation. So here's the presentation we recently loaded. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a slide. And when I do that, it has add content, add web content, add activity. We're going to add an activity. So I select the activity, and these are the different activities available. We have an open-ended question. We have a poll. We can take a quiz. We can do a draw it. We can do a collaborative board like a Padlet that allows the whole class to post and create a discussion. We also have fill in the blanks and a memory test. For this particular lesson, I'm going to use a quiz. When I select the quiz, it's going to bring me to a quiz screen, and it's going to allow me now to create a quiz. For this particular quiz, I'm just going to call this question, oops, question one. We're just going to make this a true false. You can do multiple choice just by creating your own multiple choice test. You'd have to do that by adding more answers. So like, let's do you know, if we're doing A, B, C, D, you'd want to just basically put the A, B, C, D, and put the answers. I'm going to go ahead and just take these off. You do need to make sure that you put the answer that is correct, so this will be true. And I'm then going to add another question. So add another question. I'm just going to call this question two. Same thing. I'm just going to call this true, false. Again, you can do any type of tech quiz you like. This time, oops, I'm going to say false, and I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And now what this is going to do, it's going to add that quiz to my presentation. So if I see at the bottom here, I have my quiz. Now, the really cool thing is you can add the quiz wherever you like. So you can put the quiz, let's say, after, let's say, the first couple slides. Maybe you want to do some formative assessment throughout, so you can add another quiz at the end. Or maybe you put a quiz or a question after each slide. Totally up to you and how you want to make this interactive. But once you have those different activities put in there, I'm going to add one more activity to show you how easy it is. So I'm going to go add another slide, add activity. This time I'm going to add a collaborative board. The collaborative board, same thing, types of energy types of energy and then here I can put what I want the students to do list the type of energy you use at home and then I can choose the different styles maybe I want this background instead more like a chalkboard or maybe I want it more like a posty note totally up to you you can ask also insert a, a uh, picture in there if you like but I'm just going to go ahead and hit save and then this is a collaborative board that you can have in there as well so if I look at my screen now I have a quiz and I have a collaborative so I'm going to go ahead and hit save and exit and now that is a, that presentation has been saved so here it is now if I want to give this to my students I can do a live session and what happens is if I select live session, it's going to give me a code that I can share with my class. You can do this using a Google Classroom. You can email it to your students. You can send them a link or you can just place this on the big screen and they can put this in. Now, what the students would do, they would go to Nearpod and hit join and they would put the code in. It gives you complete control of the presentation. So if I go ahead and click through this right now and go through my presentation, as you click, the slides are also moving for the students. The students cannot jump ahead. You are in complete control of the presentation. So here's my quiz. Now this is the teacher side of things. So I get to see what my students are answering. Great way to do formative assessment as you're going through the class. You'll be able to see what the students answers are and then you can correct students or ask students for feedback based on their answers. Also, on the collaborative board, same thing. It's going to ask me, would you like to, would you like to approve student comments before they are posted? I always would say yes, because we want to make sure they're 
posting appropriate items. And now as the students are thinking about this, it'll start popping up on this board and you'll be able to start seeing your students' answers on the fly. So this is a way to create an interactive presentation using Nearpod and using a Google slide deck to make it interactive. Hope this helps and enjoy the, and you enjoyed the video.